today I want to help you get started using Screencastify. This is a great app, um, a great extension available in the Chrome store. It's not an app. So here it is. I'm going to click on free. It's my favorite price. An extension is a little bit different from an app, and you'll see how that is um, and how that works as we set this up together. This icon right here is going to appear in your menu bar right there once it exists and you haven't back downloaded it. When you're recording, it'll turn red just like that. So let's get started using it. It's that simple. So for my first screencast, I want to just um, record an overview of my classroom website for parents. I find that's really helpful. Um, I also like to use Screencastify for assignment overviews so that everyone knows exactly what to do. I'm on the page I'd like to record. You could also be recording a, power presentation, a PowerPoint presentation or on your screen you could have a Word document. I'm going to click on the Screencastify extension icon and I'm ready to record and these options come up. They're important to think about. You can record your tab, which is what I would like to do right now, or your entire desktop. That's going to get any other tabs that you have and any background that's visible on your desktop. I can choose to record um, audio or not. And that's important to think about. Kids in my class have been making movies of digital presentations, prezzies or PowerPoints before, and have wanted no sound so they could dub in music later. Um, or so that they could be standing up and speaking when they present and they accidentally picked up all the classroom noise and that's because they had the microphone um, box checked off. So you want to think about which you would prefer. There's also an option to embed a webcam or not and that's if you want to have a picture of yourself in the corner talking. Um, and whether or not you want to show the mouse cursor. And I'm not going to show the mouse cursor in this particular screencast. I'm going to hit start recording. This will turn red and then I will start um, creating my presentation that I want to share with parents. Hi families, welcome to our classroom website. Some of the points that I hope you'll notice include an area called books we love where we record um, all of the books that we've read together in class. So I'm going to stop recording by hitting stop recording. This is not going to be visible um, in my video. It's just there for me as I am like the director of the video that I'm making. So don't worry that your viewers will be able to see that. They won't. As soon as you click stop recording, you are able to, um, to view your video. So you can see it right away. And you can decide what you want to do with it. You can save it to disk, delete it, or share it. Save to disk is possible even on a Chromebook, and I know we've been talking about that a lot um, lately. If you click save to disk, give it a name that you'll recognize later. And if you go to the tabs area, uh, I'm sorry, the apps area um, on your Chromebook, you will be able to find something called files. I usually just type that in and it pops up. That's where you'll find it if you save it to disk, which is important to know how to do. If you decide later to edit your video, you'll want to be able to pull it up from save to disk. You can also share it. So if you're happy with it, share it with YouTube or Google Drive. I like to put it in Google Drive if it's an assignment overview. That way I can go into Google Drive later and just move it into a folder that all of my students have access to. So decide where you would like to put it. If you do need to do some editing, our favorite app for that in my classroom is WeVideo. It's also a free app in the Chrome store. And you can look for a, a how-to video about using that in the future. Thanks for watching.